video is sponsored by Dossier. Are you over traditional perfume companies trying to convince you to spend $100 or more on a bottle of perfume? If you're nodding your head, this company sees you and hears you. That's why Dossier was created, to bring you the iconic perfumes that you love, all with that same luxe scent and high quality feel, but without the celebrity endorsement fees, markups, or pricey packaging. You get quality perfume. Be sure to check the description below my video to use my promo code. Good morning friends. So I am headed off to the dentist for a cleaning and exam. Now the last two visits I've gone, I have been told that I have like what appears to be like maybe a starting cavity, but each time I've gone to my appointment, they tell me when I come back, they'll look at it again with x-rays, but every time, um, they just keep saying the same thing. So <laughs> hopefully it's nothing. Sometimes you can get your starting cavities under arrest by continuing to really focus on those areas when brushing, flossing, rinsing, and just staying on top of that and not skipping a beat. I, I'm not gonna lie, I have slacked a little bit. It's actually been because I'm so freaking busy anymore that I just, I, I forget. I'm so tired. I lay on the couch and pass out. I have actually forgot to put my retainers in a couple times. We'll see how my dental cleaning and exam goes today. Fingers crossed that there are no new starting cavities or anything like that. I wouldn't assume that there is because I don't have like anything bothering me. I don't have any sensitivity or anything aside from just my gum recession where I've got sensitivity around the bottom of my teeth that are touching right there at the um gum line so uh, i will update you guys as soon as i get out all right guys so i am out of there i have no cavities everything looks great the only thing that i have is um <clears throat> a little bit of gum recession from just being vigorous on brushing which i shouldn't be so vigorous um the other thing is i have a crown um, which many of you, oops, I'm trying to get my seatbelt on. Um, if you've been watching, you know I got a crown like, uh, it's been probably five years ago now. It's this one right here. Anyways, the gums above it have kind of receded away from that. So when flossing, um, my teeth, um, is sensitive or my gum line is sensitive right there. And I think they had, hang on, let me close this. <laughs> Cause there's like patients coming around and getting in their cars. They have a, um, I feel a little lightheaded. Uh, they had a, like a propane smell in there, in their office. So um, a lady came in and she was like, have you guys noticed a, a smell of propane leaking? And they were like, no, none of us have noticed. Everybody's like stopped up and stuffy because of allergies and everything. But um, I, I actually spoke up because I noticed that when I walked in and I was sitting in the waiting area, I was like, oh, Lord, what in the world is this smell? So, yeah, they've definitely got like a propane leak. But I told the lady, I said, yeah, I noticed it out in the lobby when I was waiting to be called back. And so they told the doctor and he said, well, he hadn't even noticed it himself. So they're checking into that. But I feel a little lightheaded after coming out of there. So. <laughs> Hopefully I'm okay, um, but they did specify that one of your patients even noticed it, so. But yeah, it, it was stout. It was kind of a smelly smell. But anyways, um, so this tooth right here is a crown, and the gums above it have receded, so. Um, and that's probably from me flossing. Like, I learned something new. Like, everybody is designed to brush and floss your teeth in a certain particular way, and when you get used to that habit, that's just how you do it. And so he was explaining to me that flossing around that area, I need to actually brush my gums like all the way up here because that's where bacteria loves to get. So he told me to brush up there so that no bacteria moves itself down up into that pocket uh, in between my crown and my gums causing like irritations because what happens is your body reacts, responds, and it will inflame. So my gum tissue around that tooth inflames and so it's sensitive and it bleeds. Not every time, but usually at night when I floss after I get done eating, that's when I noticed it. Um, and it's been doing it, it's been doing that now for a little over a year. So um, other than that, though, no cavities. Um, 
I plan to sit down and do a little Q&A with you guys because I've been getting some comments here recently on some of my older videos. And I know a lot of you have been missing a lot of my dental related videos. So um, I am going to try to pull some questions out of the bag and like answer them for you guys, whether from personal experience or just something that you guys might have in general. Um, I've never went to school for dentistry, but I, I've done a lot of research and knowing what's going on with my teeth and, you know, every, especially ever since I got braces. If I take pride in anything, it's my teeth. <laughs> um, anyways, though, guys, I'm going to head back home and I will talk to you guys soon.